It's like 1.30 a.m. <laughs> and I've been awake. Not satisfied. I wasn't satisfied with stuff. Like, none of this stuff matters. None of this stuff matters. I don't care how many followers I have. I don't. I don't care. I could have none tomorrow. Like, makes no difference. No difference. It's just a number, and it's insane that people are so obsessed with a number. It's like, chill out. Who Weird, because y you actually know that that's something going on, but nobody talks about human trafficking. Like, human trafficking is... It, nobody wants to talk about that subject because it's uncomfortable and it's awkward, and, you know, people are like, okay, what are you going to do about it? And it's like, it's not... Like, that kind of attitude is never going to really solve anything. I think for me, I'm so, I'm just so excited to be able to learn so much so that I can help in any way I can. If I've also been doing um, this, so for like maybe a year or two, I've been studying dialectical behavior therapy. And that's a therapy that is, it's actually, it's interesting because it's almost like a big book of parenting. <laughs> if that makes sense. But it's actually just teaching you about your, like, you know, we have a, an emotional mind, we have a rational mind, and then we have a wise mind in the middle of it. And it's like figuring out how to deal with your stress, distress tolerance, dealing with um, emotional regulation. You know, when you're feeling so many things and it's out of control, like you're freaking out about it. And then that feeling, I think, is just, it's like the worst feeling. Um, and DBT has helped me figure out what, you know, like how I can, I don't know. I just think, check it out, <laughs> check it out if you're interested. But I think dialectical behavior therapy should be in every school. Um, I think it's powerful. It's, it's allowed me to get to know myself and it's allowed me to just be the best version of myself and deal with the stuff, you know? But I wouldn't have been able to do it without God. That's for sure. Okay, I'm learning about that in my psychological cl or psychology class. Sorry. Yeah, that's really cool. DBT is actually incredible. I really suggest it. What is human trafficking? Oh, um, I don't even know where to begin. Um, I'm gonna do some stuff more on that where I can really sit down and say it because it's such a heavy subject and it's something that it's something that's important but what human trafficking is is all around you that's what's insane i mean people think of human trafficking like sex trafficking right you just think of that but what i don't understand is how people don't know that it's actually all around us it's actually in it's in California. I think Orange, yeah, Orange County is the number one place for um, human trafficking in California. In Orange County. I feel like people, like, love Orange County and want to, like, live there. That's, it, that's not okay. Like, that's, that's not okay that that's happening at all. And so I feel like I needed to learn everything I could possibly learn about human trafficking because I, what am I doing? I'm in a house. I'm in, like this nice place. I have nice things. Like, I don't care about this stuff. Like if this is actually happening and it's happening in California, I probably should be doing something about it. So I'm just, I'm, I don't know. I'm wired about doing some stuff that's going to be hopefully big, but educate yourself as much as you can on human trafficking. I promise you it's something that's breaking and really, really difficult to, to swallow but it has to be talked about. It has to be discussed because I'm disgusted that this isn't something that we're not all talking about more. And then it's just there in the background. It's like dark and web stuff. It's just, I don't, I don't really care. I don't care what anyone says. I don't care what anyone writes. I don't care what they're going to try to pick apart in this live video. And, you know, it's just like, I don't care. I really don't care anymore.